And as we begin to move forward with the success of COVID-19 vaccines, today we're tackling another important topic that's been a long lasting issue for many, cancer. And whether you've experienced it yourself or supported a loved one through their battle, the treatment process can be downright overwhelming. But is a groundbreaking treatment bringing us closer to your cure? You've got to take a look. In 2021, there's been one big C that's overtaken most of our lives. But while we've been focusing on keeping ourselves safe from COVID, many across the globe have waged another war of their own, cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, in 2020, there were an estimated 1,898,160 new cases of cancer diagnosed in the United States alone. From chemo to stem cells to bone marrow transplants, oncologists, with the help of science, are constantly pushing the boundaries to lower these daunting statistics and help save lives. But will we ever find a cure for cancer? Miraculously, in recent years, death rates for some individual cancer types have seen declines with a groundbreaking new treatment called CAR T cell therapy. We first brought CAR T therapy to the forefront back in 2013 when we first met eight year old leukemia survivor Emily Whitehead who was the first child in the world to receive CAR-T. Take a look. Tom and Carrie were close to losing their six-year-old daughter when they made the tough decision to let Emily become the first child to receive a groundbreaking and shocking new cancer treatment. Patients that we're treating on this clinical trial have absolutely no other options left for them. These are patients who are unfortunately uh, destined to die of their disease and in a fairly short amount of time. What we've learned how to do is train the immune system to recognize and then kill tumor cells. And we actually use the HIV virus to do that. Emma was given her T-cell treatment and within a few days she was very sick. She had breathing difficulties, she had blood pressure difficulties. We knew that she could not have gotten any sicker without actually dying. I'm honored to welcome a healthy and happy eight-year-old Emily with her parents, Carrie and Emily. Thanks for being here today. Mom, Dad, I think back to what it must have felt like a few years ago to be told there's really no hope. What is that like as a parent? Uh, to us, that wasn't, uh, you know, we never lost hope and uh, it was never acceptable uh, to us that she wasn't going to win this fight, you know, from the the first time she was diagnosed, uh, I picked her up and, you know, I told her that only the strongest kids are picked to fight cancer and you're going to beat cancer. And we stuck with that the whole way through. And uh, somehow, uh, even when things were at their toughest, uh, we knew that she was going to have a positive outcome. And, uh, you know, we trusted our instincts. 